Have you ever seen a painting that made you cry? A painting that captures the pain and sorrow of losing someone you love? A painting that showed the reality of war and its tragic consequences? If not, then you need to watch this video, where I'll tell you the story behind one of the most heartbreaking paintings in all of history, The Sad Message by Peter Fendi. Peter Fendi was an Austrian painter who lived from 1796 to 1842. He was mainly known for his portraits, genre scenes, and erotic drawings. He was also a master of watercolor and lithography, and he produced many illustrations for books and magazines. That's not all though, he was also one of the most popular and influential artists during his time as well. One of the most renowned works by Peter Fendi is The Sad Message, where he painted in the year of 1838. This painting belongs to the artistic style of Ben de Mirror, which is a cultural movement that emerged in Central Europe between the years of 1815 and 1848. The art style was characterized by its focus on personal and domestic aspects of life, such as family, home, and nature. It often portrayed scenes of middle-class happiness and harmony, but also sometimes exposed to darker and more tragic sides of the human experience. The painting shows a young woman sitting on a bed, holding a letter in her hand. She is dressed in a simple white gown with a ribbon around her waist, and to put it simply, she seems to be a mess. Her hair is disheveled, and she's crying with her face in her hands. She looks pale and distraught, as tears stream down from her cheeks. She has just received some bad news, presumably the death of a loved one, her husband. The one thing that reveals the cause of her sorrow is the letter that she holds in her hand. It is a letter that informs her of the death of her husband, who is a soldier fighting in a war. The letter is probably written by someone who knew him very well, maybe a friend or a fellow soldier, who probably witnessed his death and wanted to convey his last words to her. The Battle of Navarino was a naval battle that took place on the 20th of October in 1827, during the Greek War of Independence. It was a battle between the Allied forces of Britain, France, and Russia, and the Ottoman Empire and its allies, who ruled over Greece at that time. The battle was a decisive victory for the Allies, who helped the Greeks gain back their freedom, but it was also resulted in many deaths on both sides. The battle was one of the most important events in European history, as it marked the end of Ottoman domination in the region. The letter tells us that the painting is set in France, sometime between 1700 and 1800, when France was involved in many wars and revolutions. The painting shows us the impact of the war on the lives of ordinary people, who had to face the loss of their loved ones and cope with their grief. The painting also shows us the contract between the peaceful and the comfort domestic scene and the violent and chaotic reality of war. The painting is a powerful expression of human emotion and suffering. Now let's look into the details of the art piece. The painting measures 36.5 by 29.5 centimeters and is made with an oil on canvas. It is a set in a simple bedroom or possibly even a basement. It has an unclean environment and is all cluttered. There's little to nothing in it, symbolizing that the family is not so well off. And now that the sole provider of the family is dead, the family is devastated. The room has a wooden floor, a bed, and a window, but that's about all it. It's mostly empty, but we can see that the bed is covered with a white sheet and a red blanket, or perhaps that it was a shawl the woman was wearing before she was stricken with grief. There's also a small table on the right side of the bed with a basket, a vase, and a box of some sort. On the floor, we can see a drum that probably belongs to the older child. Right next to the woman on the bed, there is a basket, which is filled with some pots and a bottle. By the looks of it, the woman was about to go somewhere before she was given the dreadful news. The painting consists of four characters, the distraught woman, her two children, and the military officer who stands in the doorway, bending over to perhaps console the woman. She has an infant child who is asleep in her lap, and in his innocence, he has no idea what is happening around him. The other child is a boy a few years older, and he is standing behind his mother, looking up at the officer. The officer's face shows a mixture of sorrow and shame, as he delivers the tragic news to the family. He seems to feel responsible for the death of the soldier, or at least guilty for surviving while he did not. He holds the sword and the clothes of his fallen hero, which are stained with blood. These are the only remains of the husband and father who will never return home. The officer bows respectfully to the now widow, offering her the items as a token of honor and condolence. He avoids looking her in the eyes, as he is afraid or embarrassed to face her grief. He tries to be as gentle and compassionate as possible, while at the same time breaking her heart with his words. 
The painting also makes use of colors, lights, and shadows to create a dramatic and emotional impact. The room where the scene takes place is decorated with bright and cheerful colors, such as white, red, blue, and yellow. These colors contrast with the dark and gloomy mood of the woman who has just lost her husband. The painting also plays with light and shadow to highlight the emotion of the scene. The main source of light seems to be a window that is not visible in the painting, but that casts a beam of sunlight on the woman and the children. The light accelerates their tears and their expressions of grief. On the other hand, the rest of the room, including the officer's face, is covered by a shadow. The mother and the baby are both wearing white outfits which represents their innocence, one of the reasons why the news is so devastating. The officer is wearing both black and white, the black in his attire representing death, perhaps showing us that he is not as innocent as the other characters in the painting. The painting also draws attention to the older child, who is dressed in dark clothes that resemble a uniform. He has a red scarf around his neck, which could symbolize his loyalty and patriotism. He might have been inherited his father's passion for serving his country, and he might aspire to follow up in his footsteps and join the army when he grows up. This could be a way of honoring his father's memory by wearing his clothes and fighting for his cause. He may also be curious about the officer who is a stranger in his home, and who might have known his father personally. He might be looking at him with admiration or confusion, trying to learn more about him and his father. Alternatively, he might be taking on the role of the man of the house after seeing his mother's despair. He might be conferring the officer, asking him why he brought such bad news and how he can do such a thing. He might be trying to protect his family and comfort his mother by showing courage and strength. The angle of the painting is directed straight towards the characters, however we can barely see the faces of most of them. The face of the woman is hidden, and that of the officer is only partially visible due to being covered by a shadow. Even the face of the infant seems to be blurry and distorted. It is only the older son that can be seen clearly in the painting, the reason for which remains mystery. The three characters, the woman and her two children, are huddled on one side of the painting, showing that they are a family. The infant even seems to be a part of her. The painting also contrasts the position and the role of the officer with the rest of the characters. He is depicted as an outsider who does not belong to the family or the community. He is the largest and tallest figure in the scene, which might be suggesting that he represents the authority and power of the military. However, his face expresses shame and guilt as he realizes that his duty has brought death and grief to innocent people. He understands that his uniform and rank are meaningless in front of the human cost of war. The painting is an outstanding example of how art can convey realism and emotion. It depicts a scene of profound sadness and loss that resonates with anyone who's ever experienced grief. It also shows the historical background of its time, when wars were very common and many people did not live long. It demonstrates the power and influence of art and how it can move our feelings and make us empathize with others. Click on any of the videos on the screen right now for more content.